All right, so how are we doing? So I got, uh, this will be my second video of the day today, July 26th. Uh, I got about 4.30s, getting, starting to wrap up the day today. And I'm over here at T-Mobile. And I did the video about the Gold Knights getting, uh, you know, knocked out of the playoffs. So I want to talk about a couple of events that they're having at the, uh, the T-Mobile Arena here, okay? This is probably the only place where I can probably park without being confronted by security over there at their park MGM, okay? And they have to pay the park. She's friendly, she don't bite. Okay. She's just very hot. It's a pretty dog, though. Thank you. Yeah, it's my man there. He's got a, looks like a ma Mastiff. It's a pretty dog right there. All right, so back to the, we're gonna talk about Deontay Wilder and also uh, George Strait going to be performing at the T-Mobile and uh, Mr. Strait was supposed to perform at the uh, stadium over there you could see it right over those trees alright but I guess things change so we'll talk about that here in just a second more in detail Howdy folks, so I'm over at the T-Mobile Arena today. Thanks, uh, sorry about the light. I can't get this light straight for nothing though with this new camera, but anyway, so let's get into the Wilder and Fury fight, July 24th, okay? So uh, this is the third fight, this will be it. So when, uh, these guys fought, if you were paying attention to the heavyweights, you got pretty much the big three. Joshua out there in London, uh, and Fury out in London, and you have Wilder. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how they're gonna do that to be the, you know, those fights to be the, unite, the unanimous uh, heavyweight. So something's gonna have to give at one point. And so a little bit of history about what happened there. 2019, uh, February time frame, um, it was a draw between on the first fight. The second fight, about a little over a year ago, year and a half, something like that, Wilder lost. And there was a lot of controversy about uh, Fury uh, having, you know, like some weights in his gloves. And he was fine, for what I understand. And uh, I think to cover this thing up, this is just my opinion, that he pretty much put the belts up, all right? So this is going to be a winner-takes-all thing for the third fight. And there's a clause uh, in the contract, the Wilder's contract for a third fight. So this fight has got to happen, all right? And uh, it was supposed to happen by the end of the year, but you know, with all the stuff that's going that went on, uh, that's not possible until now. All right, but that fight has got to happen. It's got to happen July 24th. Winner takes all, and then whoever fights that wins that. They'll fight Joshua. I'm thinking probably at the end of the year for the United unanimous World Championship. Now I like to say this: Fury has some pretty good hands. He was pretty resilient in that second fight. And so I'm thinking that Wilder, uh, I hope that he was worked on his skill set. He got a couple of trainers. I believe it was Mayweather's uh, father and a couple other guys. And I think he needed some help on his cardio to make him better. You know, that he could probably be able to last for like at least nine or 10 rounds. Um, so, I'm hoping in those areas he's improved. I'm probably gonna go with Wilder on this one. And it's probably gonna be 
uh, 12 round fight okay it's probably gonna be by decision and it's not gonna be easy either guy can represent the world uh, re both belts and you know after they get out of boxing they're gonna have stellar careers and all that I think let's talk about Fury fighting in the WWE and uh, Wilder wants to make movies and all that okay probably Joshua is probably going to be a model pretty boy Joshua all right um, and I think he's got the most longevity in his career because Wilder's about, about 36 so he may only have maybe three or four fights left in him okay so let's see what happens July 24th I'm going to try to attend that fight all right now I'm going to talk about George Strait. So, early this year, the George Strait was supposed to perform right back behind me at this Raiders Stadium, if you can see it over those trees, uh, July 11th. Let me get back in the light. Uh, I'm thinking they didn't sell enough tickets for that particular venue, so they're going to have it here at the uh, T-Mobile, and it's probably going to be more than one show. All right, so they probably could get more, uh, two shows at least, during the uh, July 11 weekend. I got to get th those dates uh, confirmed and I'll get back with you guys based off that. All right, but it's probably going to be like the uh, 10th and 11th, okay? Um, and there'll be some other events here that they're going to have, like Chappelle is going to be here on the 6th of July. Uh, Mike Boobles, a couple of other guys uh, they're going to have. So, uh, I'll give more details on later shows. Okay? So, it uh, looks like uh, things are, you know, the shows are coming back, particularly the large gatherings like such. All right, there's some other shows, though. There's going to be like a popular house group going to be performing. I forgot the name at the uh, Allegiant Stadium. And I'll get around to do that, as well as um, some bowl games and some other stuff. I did the video on... Um, the WWE and soccer at the Allegiant Stadium. Um, so as we get to closer to that time, I'll uh, do uh, details on that as well. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. The George Strait and Wilder um, events next month. All right, and uh, back behind me where the Park Theater is, they're gonna be bringing back Bruno Mars and some other stuff. Uh, guys uh, to perform at the smaller venue of the Park Theater, the Performing Arts um, facility right behind me at this, on the sidewalk across the street. Alright, so stay tuned for more videos and I got some work I got to finish up. If you like the video, uh, this video, subscribe, share, leave your comments and tell me what you think. Alright, check out some of my other videos and thanks for watching.